Welcome to the game tonight for your match. The game between the Cats and Lady Comet and your Pioneer Lady Panthers. Start with the sturdy lineup. Number 15, Caitlin Hudson. Number three, Grace Bryant. Number four, Kylie Bryant Reichoff. Number 14, Kylie Logan. Number 20, Natalie Warner. The top of the coach by Samantha Chainlaw. And now for your Pioneer Panthers. Number 10, Leah McIntyre. Number 15, Avery Hazelby. Number 23, Jocelyn Kane. Number 24, Brooklyn Dillman. Number 40, Hannah, Hannah Ziegler. Your fans are coached by Mr. David Porter. Your officials for tonight are Leo Hoffman and Vic Spencer.
Oh, yeah.
straight for that energy.
That's all I've heard for the comments.
That was it.
Great job.
Purchase starting lineups for the Lady Comets. Number four, Macy Heiler. Number 11, Isabel Stan. Number 12, Alexis State. Number 13, Madison Zippler. Number 22, Madison Zippler. The Comets coach by Macy Heiler. And now your Pioneer Panthers. Number 10, Mackenzie Stricker. Number 13, Greg Stomper. Number 20, Ian McKay. Number 21, Kenzie Hathaway. Number 22, Lois Slayer. Lady Panthers are coached by Mr. Adam Berry. Tonight's officials of the game are Dennis Aldrich, Bob Walsh, by Paul, Mr. Paul Williams. Freshman number 22, Addison Douglas. As we get ready to go, it'll be Scales and McKay to jump. One of the sets are out there. McKay leads them in rebounding, and Stricker is second. So their guards rebound. I mean, they have to rebound. McKay gets the basketball to start the thing. And it's Pioneer basketball as we get started. Join us here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. It's Hathaway with the basketball coming to the near side. Now to Hopper. Hopper kicks it out. Here's a fake three. Now they kick it back up top. Casting in a 2 3. Player with it, now to Stricker, now down in the corner, that's Hopper. Hopper brings it back to the top. Two-pointer on the way for Layer is good, foot was on the line. And the Pioneer Panthers jump out to the early lead, 2-0. Here's Scales with the basketball, now to Zimpleman. Zimpleman into the paint, goes up, throws up shot, good the foul. You don't usually see Addison Zimpleman get it to pass from out front from Scales, but they reverse rolls tonight. And Zimpleman goes into the paint, gets a foul, and the bucket. I like to see that more often. I mean, she's... Hathaway picks up her first, team first. Free throw drops in. Three to two now on the scoreboard brought to you by Rochester Glass. Zimpleman's strong enough. She can do that. Here's McKeg with it. McKeg on the far side. She's double teamed, goes to the baseline, loses it, picked up by the Comets. Turnover number one for the Panthers. Here's Scales with the basketball. Scales throws it off the glass and the rebound. Well, that was a lucky break. The pass was deflected by Pioneer, yeah. went off the glass and went right to Finky. But the pass from Scales to Zimpleman goes between her legs, out of bounds, first turnover on the Comets. A veteran crew tonight, Dennis Aldridge, yeah. Paul Williams, and Bob Walsh. Kind of a Kokomo area. Yeah. Be, yep. We're Kokomo area crew. So here is a layer with the basketball now for the Pioneer Panthers. Dribbles into the paint, kicks it out. On the far side now, McKeg. She's going to be double teamed, but she gets it back up top to Lair. Lair now Stricker. Now the pass is deflected by Hinderliner as it tries to go to the corner. It'll stay with Pioneer. And you, I think we were talking about that in the pregame. Hinderliner does that a few times every game. Yeah. She, she's kind of laying in the weeds weak side, and she comes in and she deflects those passes. Lair with it. She's got right steals on them. Here comes the trap by the Comets, and Miss Stricker. She'll dribble out of it. Now she goes over to the corner to Hopper. Hopper back to Stricker, stolen by Zimpleman. Zimpleman with the steal. Quickly ahead, Hinderliner on the far corner. Cross court pass is intercepted and picked off by Hopper. Again, that's trying to force a pass when a mid-range jump shot would be just fine. And there is Layer now with it. Layer has it knocked out of her hands, gets it to Stricker. First three on the way for her, no good. Rebound fought for. And it's going to be last touched by Hinderliner. It'll stay with Pioneer. Good job by Hathaway to battle on the boards there. And Stricker leads Pioneer in both scoring and assists. So she's got to set things up, but she's also got to score herself. So now here is Lair. Oh, they give it off to McKeg. Now to Stricker. Stricker on the far side. She gives it to Lair. Lair, right wing, picks up a dribble. Now to Stricker. Now off to Popper, down in the corner. That pass is not deflected. Turnover, Pioneer. I swear, if I were playing cast, I would just stay, and they're in that two, three, I would just throw the ball to the other side of Isabel Scales. If she's on the if she's on the left side, I'd just throw the ball to the right side of the court. Three to two, cast and leads. I mean, she is just a menace defensively. 5.40 to go here in this first quarter. Here's Hinton Liner with the basketball for the Comets. On the far side, over the top, now to Scales. 
Scales, squares up, goes back to Hendeliner. She'll catch it in stride and good. Nice little looking shot for Hendeliner. And it's five to two. Here's Stricker now with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Hopper. Hopper now down in the corner, off to McKay. She's double team and we're gonna get a foul on Caston and that's gonna come against M Maddie Douglas as uh, Coach Douglas wanted the elbow because Scales kind of flinched back like she got an elbow to the jaw. Yeah, I mean that's, you gotta be a little nervous about that yeah. if you're Pioneer. If you get the ball along the sidelines against Caston, you gotta get it out of there quickly. Layer has it up top. And McKegg just got, in, got caught and almost walked yeah. into a double team. Stricker into the paint, the elbow jumper on the way off the glass, no good. And the rebound comes away to Zimpleman. Sk uh, it's gonna be reaching in foul on McKenna Stricker as she tries to tip it from behind. Oh, Stricker, her first. And that's her first, team's second of the quarter. That's almost a guarantee right there. When she misses a shot, she's gonna get a foul on the other end. <laughs> Here is under five minutes to go. It's cast in basketball. They go down low here. Scales up off the glass. Good. Nice pass by Finky. And Scales now in the scoring column. Seven kind of, to two. Kind of inverted the offense there. Brought Finky the post out to the yeah. perimeter and then put Scales in the post. Backdoor cut by Stricker. Free throw line jumper up. No good. Rebound tipped around. And it's going to be last touched by Pioneer. Hathaway tips it out of bounds. It'll stay. It'll go back to cast it. Leading 7-2, 4.34 to go here in this opening quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zimpleman will bring it across the timeline. She'll go left side now to Hindeliner. Hindeliner looking to go across the top. She does to Zimpleman. Zimpleman now top to Douglas. Douglas. Again, Pioneer in that 2-3. They're trying to penetrate it. They go into Zimpleman. Catches it. Goes up off the glass. No good, but a foul coming. That'll be two on Hathaway. And that's going to be the third on the team. And that'll send Zimpleman back to the line to shoot two this time. Caston not really putting anybody in the high post against the zone. They're just throwing skip passes over the top of it, kind of playing catch. Addie Zimpleman misses the first free throw. Coming in will be Thomas and Harsh for Caston and also McGrew coming in for the Pioneer Panthers. Zimpleman will have another shot from the free throw line. One for two so far. Make it two for three. Eight to two. Stricker will bring the ball up. It's over the top. That's McKay with it. She's double teamed in that wing. She finally gets it down off in the corner and a blocking foul gonna be called. Is that gonna be whistled on Thomas? And it is on Olivia Thomas, her first. Oh, Team second of the quarter. Stricker to inbound. She gets it in. Throws up a shot. It's Hopper good. Hopper. AC Hopper. And it's now the eight to four. There's Casting quickly down the floor. Douglas into the paint. Kicks it out to Thomas. Now to Scales. Scales will reset. Scales right side. Now to Douglas. Drives to the baseline. Throws up a running jumper. No good. Rebound fought for. Come away. Does McKay with Pioneer. Here's Stricker, bring it across the timeline. Back to McKay. Three on the way for her. High off the back of the backboard, no good, and a Pioneer offensive rebound. Good job, McGrew. And then they threw it away. That was McGrew with a good box out on the offensive end, but. Layer got the basketball, and she went to throw it to McKay and could not get it to her. I wasn't sure what happened with Douglas there. She made a really nice move to get yeah. by Hopper on the baseline and then tossed up an air ball. And just needs, I think, get off, two, stay on two feet yeah. and shoot that baseline jumper. Harsh with it now over the top to Douglas, right wing. Douglas goes down low to Scales. Scales, turn around, jumper, good. Scales has four, and it's 10 to four. She gets that ball that deep, there's just nothing anybody from any team is going to be able to do. <laughs> Stricker with it, goes in, throws up a shot, no good. And Zimpleman with the rebound. Zimpleman looking to go coast to coast, up and rolls out, no good. Gets her own rebound after it was touched by Z uh, Scales. Three on the way by Douglas, no good. And we're going to have an offensive rebound, or a foul in the back on Harsh. That thing was yeah. just rolled off and from Zimpleman. And the thing Zimpleman. about Scales is she gives herself kind of like a wide target when she's in the post. Like she mm -hmm. kind of spreads her spreads her legs a little bit and kind of gets in like a, like a catcher stance, almost like a softball. 
and so it's easy to, to get the ball there. She makes it easier for her teammate. Yeah, an old, Kasten, old school type post up player. Yeah. Yep. yep. Kasson's yeah. gone to a man. And Stricker's up top with the basketball. Free throw line. Throws up a jumper. No good. Rebound to Douglas. Douglas, spin move, loses it now on the ground, and Coach Douglas gets a timeout with 2.29 to go. Heck of a hustle play by Maddie Douglas. And it is a 30, just a 30 second timeout. We will keep it here with 2.29 to go. 10 to 4, our score on the score. Knocked loose, and she had to dive on the ground for it. And so now. Harsh will bring it across the timeline with 2.25 to go here in this opening quarter. 10 to four, Caston. Here's Thomas, 15 footer good. <laughs> Olivia Thomas off the bench now in the scoring oh, column right. with two, it's 12 to four. It's just a matter of time. I mean, she's put up big yeah. numbers in the JV year old career. And here is Pioneer with the basketball. We're gonna have a tie up between Hopper and Scales. It'll stay with Pioneer. Should be, should be Caston. Pioneer won the opening tip. We haven't had a jump ball since, have we? Well, now they're saying it's casting. Hang on. All right, it is casting ball. The referee forgot that casting called the timeout to save the ball. So now to be casting basketball with 2.06 to go here, leading 12 to 4. Scales will bring it across. Now they go to Harsh, into the corner, now to Douglas. Pioneer du in like a 3-2 almost look. Yeah. Here's to Douglas. Cast just running it up top, trying to look for the open player. Scales, right wing, three on the way, good. 15 to four. Stricker with the basketball, coming to the near side now to Hopper. She goes down into the corner. They'll bring it back up, and that's McCraig. She loses it as she goes into the paint. Picked up by Maddie Douglas. Douglas with the basketball. Now to Scales, same spot, three on the way. Yeah, that one rattles around and falls out. Rebound to McGrew. McGrew with the basketball. Boy, just anybody, anybody other than Stricker really struggles handling the ball for Pioneer, and that's a problem. And that pass was intended for McKeg. He goes out of bounds. Turnover number seven. Casey Webb, a 5'6 senior, will come in and Hopper will sit down. 1-11 here in the first quarter. 15-4 cast in their basketball. Casey Webb, the slugging catcher for the Pioneer softball team. They go in the corner now to Douglas. Douglas has it to Harsh. Harsh backs it back out. Swings it back up top. Now Douglas back up to Thomas. Now over the top to Scales. Down to the paint. Up and good. Gale's in the paint again. She's got two more, and it's 17 to 4. Here's Stricker. Kicks it out. And with the three. three for McKeg. Makes it a 10 point game, 17 7. Nice pass by Webb. Now here's Douglas for three on the other end. All off the mark, no good, and a quick rebound, and it's pulled down by Webb. Webb has the basketball. Webb. Then loses it down low as Stricker, another turnover. Here comes the Comets. Comets, three on the way for Harsh. Off the mark, no good. Rebound, Pioneer, but a foul coming. And I believe they're going to whistle that one on Douglas. <coughs> and oh, no. they do. Maddie Douglas picks up her second in the quarter. Fourth for the team. And now coming in. Hindeliner's back into the ball game for her. The keg averages six rebounds a game. She's got three already. Here's Stricker with the basketball coming to the near side now to Lair. Lair at the buzzer. No, but a foul coming, and she'll get to shoot three as we round out this quarter. Uh, not a smart play. Foul is coming on Hindeliner. Hindeliner picks up her first, but that will send Lair to end the corner to go to the free throw line to shoot three. First one is good for Lair. She'll have two more. 17 to eight. 
Zach will free throw, rims in and out, no good. Nope. I think it was only two free throws. Nope. I think she was in the extra she shooting a two-pointer. Okay, I thought it was a three she was shooting. So just one for two. Basketball as we start the second quarter. Caston leads 17 to eight on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Stricker gets it in. Stricker gets the pass back. Stricker on the far side. Now hands it off to McKeg. McKeg, 15-footer, off the mark, no good. The rebound comes away to McGrew. She goes back up, no good. Rebound comes away to Hinliner. Hinliner with the basketball for the Comets. Now to Scales right wing. Scales dribbles that down. Goes to Zimpleman and she's gonna be fouled. And that foul's gonna be whistled against McKeg. Boy, a rare defensive oh, breakdown by Cast and they get, McKeg gets a wide open yeah. 15 footer that you would expect her to make more often than not. And then they give up an offensive rebound and McGrew misses one right on the doorstep. Zimpleman, three on the inbound is good. And then you give up a three on the other possession. Not a good start to the second quarter for Pioneer. Quickly down, now the pass goes through the hands of Webb and picked up by Caston. Here comes Hindeliner. Hindeliner pushes the basketball, now to Scales. Scales dribbles in, has it knocked loose. Scales still has it. Scales gives it off to Harsh. <laughs> Lois Layers really competing out there, but yeah. it's going to be a fight for the ball with her and Isabel Scales. It's not going to work out for her. Three way off the mark on the right wing. And here's Stricker with a rebound. Stricker will bring it down herself. Stricker, elbow jumper on the way. Short and a quick rebound by Scales. Stricker still hasn't scored yet. Scales quickly down to Harsh. Harsh cross court pass to Hindeliner. To the top to Scales. Elbow jumper for her. Short again. You don't see that very often. Back to back air balls for Isabel Scales. I would agree. You rarely don't see no. back-to-back air balls. You like, rarely see one, yeah. let alone back-to-back. 6.50 to go here in the opening half, 20 to 8. You've scored more than, what, 1,200 points? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bayer with the basketball. She gives it off to McKeg. Fadeaway jumper, no good. Last touch by McGrew. It'll go back to Caston. 20 to 8, 6.40 to go. Randy. Val and Steve here at Pioneer High School. Glad you could join us. Scales nine, Zippelman seven. Is that what you have? Uh, yeah. In the liner two and Thomas two. Here's another three for Scales. That's good from the left side. Or, excuse me, that was Zimpleman. Three by Zimpleman. Zimpleman with another three and it's 23 to eight with 6.20 to go. Here is Pioneer with a basketball. McKay has it stripped. And now Scales, there's great pass. Great pass, Zimpleman to a trailing Hindeliner. Hindeliner, left hand layup, good. That's why you always trail your teammate. And Hindeliner's relaying is if she just runs yeah. the floor, she's gonna get a, two or three buckets a game like that. Exactly. 25 to eight, Pioneer with the basketball. It's Layer, Layer comes to the near side, now to Webb. Webb has it back up top. McKaig with the basketball. Goes to the right side, looking to give it to Stricker, and it's stolen by Zimpleman. Zimpleman, left hand left, good. And Coach Barry wants a timeout. It is a 30-second timeout. 27-8 our score with 5.34 to go. Giant FM and RTC TV4. 34 to go here in the second quarter. A 10-0 run to start the quarter. Pyatt Kastner really attacking those passing lanes. Pioneer's getting nothing easy. Here's Stricker with the basketball. Stricker has it, top the key. She's guarded uh, by Finky. Now they go right side, Zimpleman almost another steal, knocks it out of bounds, and it'll stay with Cat or Pioneer. Coming in for the contest will be Hopper if they whistle her in, and they don't. And Pioneer, you know, Caston's had their coach four years, and Pioneer's had their coach maybe four weeks. <laughs> and you can see the difference. And here's Stricker. She kicks it out. Three for Lair on the way. Off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. Stricker gets it. Stricker back up off the glass. Good. The foul. Stricker with the basket. Get a Stricker. Did a great job there. Getting the rebound. Going back up strong. She's fouled. And the foul's coming against Finky of the Comets. Her first team first of the quarter. And Stricker now into the scoring column. Trying to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Hopper checks in before the free throw. Again, McKenna Stricker is just strong that way. Free throw good. She's always going to get to the foul line a lot. 
27 to 11. She had 20 free throw attempts in that win over Logansport. Wow. She went 13 for 20. Here's Zimpelman with the basketball. Gets it from Scales. Now goes back to Scales left wing. Over the top, back to Zimpelman. Trying to work down low, looking for Finke. Scales cuts into the paint. Shot short, and the rebound comes away to Stricker. Stricker on the run. Stricker, crossover. Goes into the paint. Kicks it out to Lair. Lair goes up, fouled. More free throws coming for the Pioneer Panthers. And that foul is going to be whistled on Hindeliner, I believe. Thomas? Nope, Thomas. Oh, okay. Thomas, that was a nice. I, feel, I, I kind of feel bad for Scales because she did everything right in that last yeah. possession except make the shot. Lair misses the first free throw. Scales comes out. Maddie Douglas back in. Douglas comes in with two fouls. Bell started off four for five. She's missed her last three. Second free throw. Yeah, two of those were air balls. I wasn't going to say that, but you did. <laughs> Time for a little break. <laughs> now off to Douglas. Douglas with the basketball on the near side. Back up top to Hindeliner. Back to Douglas. Douglas to a cutting Zimpleman. Zimpleman travels. Yep. She didn't get rid of it when she thought she was going to, and unfortunately... Shuffle those feet. 4.20 to go here in the second quarter. The Rochester Glass scoreboard cast in 27, Pioneer 12. Stricker with the basketball again. She'll bring it across the timeline. Comes the layer of this near side. Layer goes around a screen by Webb. Well, it's Webb. kind of a moving screen, yeah. but okay. Stricker takes it, and Stricker's going to be forced on the out-of-bounds line. Right idea. Had a man open on the other side, but uh, unfortunately stepped on the out-of-bounds line first. Turnover number 12 for Pioneer, only three for Caston. Here's Scales. She'll run the point. Now go left side to Douglas, down in the corner, and out of Thomas. Thomas into Hindeliner. Falls, falling down, throws up a shot and gets it to fall. That was just great by Hindeliner splitting the double team. And, and that cut, the cut from the weak side. Yeah. I mean, that's really smart basketball. Here's Webb with the basketball, back to Lair. Now Stricker, three from the right wing, off the mark, no good. And Webb with the rebound. Webb has it. Webb has it knocked loose, picks it back up, now gives it off to Stricker. Stricker behind her back against Hindeliner. Now she'll back it back out and reset. Over the top to Lair. But Caston just helps each other out on defense so well. Here's Stricker I mean, there with it. There's not many teams, girl or boy, in the area that, that do it that way. Caston in the man. Here's Lair driving to the paint, throws up a shot, no good. The rebound comes away to McGrew, back up, no good. And the rebound comes away to Caston, and a foul coming. And I believe it's going to be whistled on Lair. And it is her first, team second. Scales back in, Zimpleman will get a break. Also in is Harsh, and sitting down is Finky. Zimbleman with four rebounds tonight in addition to all her scoring. So Scales will run the point now for the Comets. She'll bring it down, go off to Harsh on the right wing. Harsh to Hindeliner, swings it left side now to Douglas. To Scales in the corner, Scales drives it in, throws up a shot, rattles her home. First points of the quarter for uh, Scales. And it's 31 There's to 12. There's just not many girls in the area who can do that <laughs> against the zone, beat it off the dribble and then hit a pull up. Yeah over the top of it. Stricker with it, she's double teamed and the pass is not handled by Hopper and it goes out of bounds. And again, that's just a cohesiveness thing. Yeah. You so, wish she, well, even if she did get that pass, there's still two girls right there in that corner. So right. what are you gonna do yeah, with it? Yeah, what are you gonna do with it? Yeah. Two and a half to go before halftime. 31-12, in the liner. Now to Harsh on the far side. Harsh has it back up top to Douglas. Douglas with a basketball. Douglas drives in, throws up a layup up and no good. And the rebound comes away to McGrew. Douglas hasn't scored in this game yet either. Yeah. Here's Stricker with a basketball. Stricker against Scales. Stricker kicks it back out to Webb. Webb on the far side just dribbles off her body. Turnover, Pioneer. Scales now will have it with Two minutes to go before halftime. 31-12, still our score. Douglas, left side. Douglas splits the defense, now gives it to Hindeliner. Drives the baseline, throws up a shot. Good and a foul. Hindeliner with eight. 
And that foul is coming on McGrew. Going to be her first, team third. And Hindeliner to the first to the free throw time for the first time. Hard off the back of the iron, no good. And the rebound comes away to McGrew. She'll get it off to Stricker. Stricker will bring it across the timeline. Thinks about a three, passes it up to Webb. Now back up top to McKeg. McKeg with it. Now to Stricker, to cutting Webb, or Hopper. Hopper down low, back out to Stricker. She'll fire a three straight away. In and out, no good. Oh, that, that thing was all but down. That, that deserved to go in. Hindeliner with the basketball over the top. And it's going to be stolen by Hopper. Hopper, one on three. Hopper has it knocked loose, picks it up, and smartly throws it out top to, the, to a teammate. Here's a free throw line jumper, up and good for McKaig. Nice little kind of pump fake by McKaig. Yeah. Kind of got the defense on roller skates. And Back on the offensive end for the casting comments. 60 seconds remain. Hindeliner to Scales in the corner. Scales brings it back up top to Hindeliner. Back to Scales. Now Hindeliner swings it left side to Douglas. Now to Harsh. Harsh has the basketball to Douglas. Swing it left back to Harsh. Under uh, 45 seconds to go. Douglas has it. Dribbles down low. Looking for Harsh. Can't get it to her. Now brings it back up top to Thomas to a cutting scales. Out to three for Douglas. No. And the rebound comes away to McKaig. Not a great shot, especially mm. Not with, in, that, yeah. in the time situation. Stricker has it. Kicks it back out. Here's three on the way for McKaig. On the way. No good. Scales skies for the rebound. Quickly ahead to Hindeliner. Hindeliner crossover up and no good. And a rebound comes to McGrew. Ten seconds. Caston does not handle these last 45 seconds of play well. Here is a shot by Hopper off the glass. No good. And a rebound comes away. Here's Scales. A half quarter. No good. And that will do it for the first half of basketball. At halftime on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, it is Caston 33, Pioneer Panthers 14. Back with the halftime show being brought to you by Odell Lumber. Right after this, timeout. Giant FM and RTC TV Big 4. At Gamebridge, Arizona ranked number one and Purdue ranked number four. As we get started here, it'll be Caston basketball. It'll be Hindeliner, Douglas, Scales, Zimpleman, and Finky, the original five. And Coach Berry back with his original five as well. Stricker, Hopper, McKay, Hathaway, and Lair. 1-2-2 two, two for the Pioneer Panthers. Now down in the corner, that's Zimpleman with the basketball. Over the top to Hindeliner. Now to Finky. Back to Hindeliner. Top to Key. They go over the top to Zimpleman. She'll drive the baseline. Throws it out to Hindeliner, and Hindeliner was cutting towards the basket. And it goes out of bounds. Turnover on Caston. I guess the first bad pass the Comets have made all night. <laughs> yeah. Pioneer with the basketball. Here's Lair with it. Lair has it. She'll reset the offense. Top of the key. Hands it off to Stricker. Stricker tries to go around behind the liner. Now she'll back it back out. Give it off to Lair. Lair. Lair over to McKay. McKay with the basketball. Now it's up to Hopper. Three on the way for Lair. In and out. No good. And Zimpleman with a rebound. Caston looking to push. Hit Zimpleman to Hindeliner. Left side. Now she'll go back to Zimpleman. Right side now to Douglas. Scales wide open on the other side. Over the top, here's three on the way. In and out, no good. Zimpleman with a wide open rebound, good. Well, Zimpleman set a screen. Yeah. To help get it scales open, and then she gets rewarded with a putback. Somebody forgot to block her out. 35-14. Here's Hopper with it. Now off to McKeg. Now back over to Sl Sl or Lair. Lair has it to McKeg. McKeg on the far side. Caston playing a man. What do you call this Jim Layers Lair? <laughs> Here's Stricker. Stricker kicks it down low to Hathaway. Her fadeaway jumper no good. Rebound comes away to Finky. Quickly ahead. Here's Hindeliner with the basketball. In the corner to Scales. Scales. She'll work it. And now kick it back up top to Douglas. Douglas. To Zimpleman. Douglas again, kicks it out to Hindeliner. Cross court pass, two on the way for Scales. Off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, and it's going to be last touched by Pioneer. And it'll stay with Caston. 
Nice job by Finky to fight for the board there. Not, a good, not a good rebounding start for this half for Pioneer. 5.51 to go in the third. 35-14 still on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Douglas looking to get it in. Over the top she goes to Zimpleman. Zimpleman goes right side now to Hindeliner. Hindeliner top to back to Douglas. Douglas holds, looks over the offense, now gives it off to Zimpleman for three on the way. Good. Addie Zimpleman from the right wing. 38-14. If only we all played our second favorite sport like Addison Zimpleman <laughs> plays basketball. <laughs> if I played my first sport like she plays her second favorite. <laughs> Here's Pioneer with the basketball. Hinderleiter almost had that one. And now is going to pick up a foul, I believe, and that's going to be her second. First of the quarter. And it is on Macy. Macy playing some great defense down there. That will be Pioneer to inbound on the far side. Stricker gets it in. Now McKeg holds. Now to Lair. Lair top of the key. Lair dribbles in. Double team stolen by Douglas. Douglas, coast to coast, spin move. Right hand layup, no good, but a foul coming. And Madison Douglas will go to the line for her first opportunity from the free throw line. And that foul's coming on Lair, her second. Team first of the quarter. Douglas looking for her first points of the night. I think I think back on that G, Gino Ariema quote, I think he was he was being interviewed once. He was talking about it. He was asked about a player who had been struggling offensively, and he goes, he goes, I, I didn't tell her anything about offense. I just told her to continue to play good defense. If you continue to play good defense, the points will come eventually. And I think that's kind of the, what you would maybe want to tell Maddie Douglas. Two points there, both on free throws, and it's 40 to 14. Five can, minutes to go. If she continues to play hard on the defensive end, the points will come. There's Lair with the basketball. Lair trying to look for Stricker. Can't get it to her. Lair now gets it to Stricker back at the top of the key. Stricker against Zimpleman. Now to Hopper. Hopper to the line or to the baseline and puts up the layup. Good. Hopper's got four. Nice move by Hopper. That was a tough shot, too. And on the other end, we're gonna have a quick foul on Pioneer. Gracie's uh, shooting pretty well, two for two for her, but uh, he takes more shots. Foul coming against Hathaway. That's her third. She'll, she'll come out, and 23 McGrew comes in. They get it into scales. Three on the way off the inbound. Short, and the rebound to Stricker. McKenna looking ahead. She finds McKeg open. Goes to the baseline, and she's going to be fouled and go to the free throw line. And that's on Hindeliner. That's her third. Team number two of the quarter. And McKeg with five points on the evening will have an opportunity for two more. First free throw is good. Me, McKeg's just a great kid. I got to talk to her a lot during golf season. She made it to regionals in golf, and this is just her second year playing golf. She's a sophomore, and you know she's grown up around basketball her whole life. Her dad's a coach. Her uncle's a coach. Her cousin's <laughs> playing at Ball State. I think, like for her, golf was like her own sport. You know, yeah. one for two for McKeg. In is. Uh, Webb for Pioneer and Harsh in for Caston replacing uh, Hindeliner. Here's Douglas on the far side. Douglas against Stricker. Now here's Zimpleman, three right wing, banks it in. The bank's open late. Only here in Royal Center is it open late. They didn't know they were taking deposits from Fulton, though. <laughs> and a steal on the other end by Zimpleman, and it's going to be fought for and last touch by Addy. As Lair and Addie battle for it, Zimpleman throws it out. Coach Barry saying something to Addie, I'm going to guess is about the bank shot. Probably ask her if she called it at least. Here's Lair, top of the key. Lair, Douglas all over her. Now they give it off to Webb. Webb picks up her dribble. Now to Stricker. Stricker guarded by Zimpleman. Stricker comes to the right side, kicks it out to Lair. Lair back up top. Here's McKeg with it. McKeg trying to get it to Stricker, and she does here on the near side. Over the top, they go too hard, though. The intended pass was McGrew. Tough pass. That was. Thomas back in for Ron, or for Caston, and sitting down will be Finky. And the ball wound up in the garbage. Yeah. Wipe it on Jerry Snyder's sweatshirt over there. 
320 to go here in the third. 43-17, the Comets lead. Here's Harsh with the basketball. That last pass stunk, literally. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just don't need to give him any help. Here's Harsh with the basketball. Now to Douglas, to Zimpleman. Left side, three on the way for Addy. Short, fights for her own rebound and saves it, but going to not save it. Steps on the line, the official says. She does miss. <laughs> I, I was starting to wonder. I thought she was going to just go 100% uh, here tonight. Cast in 10 to 3 so far this quarter. 43 17 the total. Here, three minutes to go in the third. Layer with the basketball. Now sends it over to Webb. Webb loses it, picks it back up. Now gets it to Stricker, but it's off her knees. Picked up by Scales. Scales, left hand left, short. And the rebound is going to be tied up between Douglas and Stricker. And it will. Go to Pioneer. Finky back in, and Zimpleman will get a breather with 2.42 to go here in the third. How many times in the la that last possession did Cast and help each other out defensively? Well, at least I just counted about three. I was going to say least. three or four at least, yeah. Here is Pioneer with the basketball. It's McKeg. McKeg against Thomas, or Finky. Now they give it to Stricker. Stricker over the top, down to McGrew. Great Hard. pass. Too hard off the glass. That was a great pass by Stricker. That she deserved better for them for than that. Harsh has it. Not a scales. Into the corner. Here's Douglas for three on the way. She tried to bank it in. No good. Scales comes away with the rebound. Throws it out to Harsh for three. Off the back there. No good. And it's pulled down by Webb this time. And here comes the Panthers. Stricker leaves it for McGrew. Back up off the glass. Too hard again. Good defense by Annie Harsh to wall up. And Thomas with the rebound. Quickly ahead to Scales. Scales into the paint. Ten footers, no good. Rims out. And now Lair with the rebound. To Stricker gives it back to Lair. Minute 40. Out to the near side. Here is McKeg with it. McKeg tries to get it to Webb. She does. Webb's guarded by Finky. Webb is about to get a five-second call, and Coach Barry gets a timeout. It's a 30. Stricker looking to get it in. Stricker holds, gets it into Lair. Lair will bring it back across the timeline, 43-17. Here's now McKenna with the basketball, top of the key against Scales. Ball's knocked loose, picked up by Stricker. Now to Lair. Lair here into the corner. Now McKeg back to Lair. Top the key. Lair. Good defense by Thomas. She's got yeah. those long arms. It's Thomas hard to get around her. Finky. Here's Lair as Thomas falls down. Shots missed. And Harsh with a nice rebound. Harsh ahead to Zimpleman. Zimpleman sidesteps up left hand left. Bit. That was nifty. Nice little sidestep around the defender. And it's 45 17. There were two Pioneer players right there yeah. waiting for her. And Stepped around both. Fouls coming against Caston, number 11, Isabel Scales. Going to pick up her first, team third. And coming back in will be Hopper, and sitting down will be Webb. You got to give a lot of kudos to Adam Barry. I mean, being, being a football coach is a 12-month-a-year job these days. <laughs> and then to step in and be the girls' basketball coach as well when you, your school really needed it. He deserves a lot of credit. Stricker Plus, is going to be fouled again by Scales as she tried to put a little pressure on. That's going to be her second team fourth. Plus, I know Coach Barry's a husband and a dad, too. I mean, it's <laughs> he's got he's got three kids, and they are very active mm -hmm. playing basketball this time of year. So, yeah, we, we really appreciate him. Kenneth Stricker gets it in to Lair. Back to Stricker. She'll fire a three right wing. No good off the mark. And the rebound comes away to Hopper. It's one of only a few offensive rebounds for Pioneer. Great job that time by Hopper to go get it. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Now back over to Hopper. Now down in the corner to McKeg. McKeg has it. Brings it back up top against Tom. Or excuse me, against, yeah, Thomas. So go to the line, bank it in, and good, and a foul. That one's going to be whistled against Thomas, her third, team's fifth of the quarter. And McKeg has two more, and she'll get another chance for a three-point play. 
That's something we saw out of McKaig on Saturday. She was driving to the basket and able to finish. And strong finish there for the, the sophomore. She finishes it off with a three-point play. The free throw was good with five seconds. Here comes Caston. Now to Harsh, top the key, scales with one, short. And that's going to do it at the end of the third quarter, 45 to 20 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. We'll be back right after this, Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Back at Pioneer High School starting the fourth and final quarter. Cast in basketball, they go into the corner of Zimpleman. It's Zimpleman, Scales, Hindeliner, Douglas, and Finke, the original five for the quarter. Douglas has it, right side. Douglas, crossover, comes back to the middle. And Coach Douglas not liking what he's seen in the uh, first uh, 17 seconds. He calls a 30-second timeout. And 71 to 55. Wow, hmm. big win for the Cavaliers. Yeah, Coach, Coach Evans' team have really been piling up the points since Jack Rogers came back. Yeah, no kidding. They were a totally different basketball team from the team that <laughs> Rochester beat on Thanksgiving Eve. And that ball is knocked out of bounds by... And there's a two-word description for that, Jack Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> if you've not seen him play, he is big time. In the liner to get it in. She gets it in to Zimpleman, down low to Scales. Scales at the block, turn around jumper, short. Own rebound, throws up another one, short. And rebound fought for between Douglas and uh, Hopper. It'll go back to Pioneer. For whatever reason, Scales is missing all these shots short. Shouldn't it? Should be Pioneer. Because Kasten had it to start the quarter. Should be Pioneer. Should be Pioneer. Kasten had it to start the quarter. Confusion on the scoring bench this evening. So 7.15 to go. Here is Hopper. Hopper has it. Now to McKaig. McKaig down the right side. Now kicks it back out to Lair. Lair back up top to Hopper to Stricker, Stricker into the paint, throws up a running jumper and no good, but a foul coming against Douglas. And I believe that's gonna be Maddie's third, team first of the quarter. Yeah, that was McKenna Stricker just saying, I'm oh. junior, you're a freshman, and I'm taking you to the basket. And she did, and she'll go to the line and shoot two free throws. Stricker, first free throw, good. McKenna now with four points on the evening, a frustrating night for her. McKenna Stricker also on the track team at Pioneer. That one's off the back of the iron. Hopper, another offensive rebound. Right back to Stricker. Layup, too hard. Rebound, Scales. Scales has the basketball. Scales right down between a defender. Throws up another short shot. And a rebound comes off to Stricker. All of a sudden, Scales can't uh, buy a basket. And it'll be last touch by Casting. It'll stay with Pioneer underneath their own basket. Uh, Bell started off at four for five, and she's one for her last 12. Whew. And everything's short. Here is Stricker to get it in. Going to have to hurry. And finally does to Webb. Webb has it. Webb back up to Lair. Lair has the basketball now to McKeg. McKeg around the screen by Stricker. Now reverses direction over to Webb or Hopper. 15-footer, no good, and a rebound fought for, and we're going to have a jump ball, and this one will go back to Caston. I think Webb had her hand in there and couldn't get it out. There was going to be a tie-up either way. So with 6.24 to go here in this fourth quarter, we'll be back to Caston. Finky, an all-conference volleyball player. She's got one of the best verticals in this gym. Zimpleman has it, top of the key. Zimpleman drives in, and right-hand layup up, and no good, rolls out. And they're going to say she was the first one to touch it. Yeah, that's the correct call. She did yep. not reestablish herself inbounds. Yep. Casting fans didn't like that, but I think they got it right. Yeah. Addie kind of with a smirk on her face. She knew, I think she knew, but she tried. Still a great hustle play there by Zippelman. <laughs> yeah. So here he is Pioneer with a basketball. McKeg into the paint. Throws up a running jumper. No good. Rebound. Comes away to Finky. Finky quickly ahead. Here's Hinderliner. Hinderliner. The ball's tipped. Scales picks it up. Back to Hindeliner. Left side. Now through the hands of Douglas. She'll retreat and go get it. Douglas with it to Hindeliner. Down in the corner to Scales. Left side. Scales holds. Now brings it back up top to Hindeliner. Gives it back over to Douglas with 5 and 35 to go. <coughs> and Finky was playing the high post, but she's really screening out of yeah. it. She's not 
Scales three left wing, short again off the back of the iron. That one just never really had a chance. Jump ball, and it goes back to Pioneer. Harsh and Thomas come in. Finky and Scales will sit down with 5.22 to go, 45-21. Here is Pioneer with the basketball. Top the key, McKenna Stricker. Gives it off now to McKeg. McKeg with the basketball. Drives in. Kicks it out to McKenna in the corner. Three for her on the way. Off the back of the iron. Nice. Another offense rebounds. Three big rebounds for Hopper here just in this quarter offensively. There's a steal by Douglas. Douglas left hand layup up and too hard. Falls off the front. And Coach Douglas going right to the bench and she'll be coming out. Top the key. Now they bring it. Here's Zippelman for three. Left side. That's good. 25 now for Addison Zippelman. 48-21. Stricker on the other end going up. She's going to be fouled. And she'll go back to the free throw line. Fouls coming against Maddie Douglas. Her fourth. And that will... Put Stricker back at the line. Free throw, first one is good. Douglas will come out, and Scales will come back in. Hathaway comes in for Pioneer, and sitting down will be Hopper. Free throw, Stricker, second one good. 48-23. And Manny Douglas is a good defender, but McKenna Stricker, she's fearless yeah. in terms of taking her to the basket. And there's a tie up in the feet and a whistle going to be called against Webb, her first. Only the team's first of the quarter for oh, Pioneer. I mean she has webbed feet? <laughs> I set him up. I, I yeah, need smack for that one. Yeah. I set him up on that one. Here's Harsh with it. Harsh now to Thomas. Thomas swings it right side. Now the hand liner down low to Scale. Scale slips. Gets her fitting back. Throws it up. No good but a foul coming. And Scales will have an opportunity to break this scoring streak. Lack of scoring streak. Uh, she has two free throws. That one's going to be whistled against McKeg. Her second, team second. Scales, free throw, nothing but the bottom of the net. She'll have one more. Isabel has 12 on the evening. Free throw on the way. Her second one is good again. 13 now for Isabel. 50 to 23, 4.05 to go in this fourth quarter. Stricker with a basketball, tries to go around Scales. Now she'll back it back out. Harsh almost with a steal. Here's McKeg, back to Stricker. She'll fire a three, in and out, no good. Harsh with a rebound. Another great look by Stricker, but just could not get it to fall. Zippelman runs it into the paint, throws up a running jumper, good. 27. For Addy. You try to run her off the line, and then that happens. Yeah. Elbow jumper for Stricker. No good. One and done. It's a rebound for the Comets. Quickly ahead. Simple bend to scale. Scales into the lane. Can't get it to roll either. And a rebound comes away to Hathaway. Now Stricker with it. Stricker ahead to Lair. Lair has it. Back to Stricker. 3.15 to go in the quarter. Strickers are just a couple little subtle moves. She got a little zigzag yep. move and a little crossover move that she can get herself free. And really, really use it to good effect. Drives around, scales, and yep, took a little extra hop as she ran into Hindeliner. And a turnover on the Panthers. Pioneer does not have a field goal this quarter yet. And again, we talk about this all the time. Kasten just grinds you down and grinds you down. Yeah. And scoring becomes especially hard against them in the fourth quarter of games. Here's Thomas with it. Over the top to Harsh. Harsh now to Zumpelman. Three more on the way. That one's way off the mark. But Thomas chases down the rebound. Harsh will have it. Harsh to Zumpelman. Into the paint. Into a Thomas. 12-footer on the way. Way off the mark. Rebound through the hands of Scales into a McKenna Stricker. Stricker will bring it up. Now gives it to Hathaway and right through her arms. Turnover number 21 for Pioneer, five for Doug, Kasten. Douglas will come in for Scales, and coming in will be uh, Caitlin Hunsell 
And Zimpleman will sit down. She's probably done for the night with 27. We got a Knox team coming up on Friday that's yeah. uh, playing a lot better. They got a girl named, uh, they got a win over Oregon Davis the other night. Um, we got that pass goes out of bounds. Morgan Downs, is that her name? Yeah, Downs. Very good player for Knox. Yeah. Yep. Caston's last conference loss, December 16th, 2021, almost two years ago to the day, and it was at Knox. That's a Knox team that can put up some points, too. Yeah. Here is McCrew. McCrew with the basketball, looking for Stricker. Gets it to her on the right wing. Stricker against Douglas to the hole. Right hand layup, good for McKenna. Stricker with the basket. Finally gets a field goal in the quarter to the Pioneer Panthers, and now it's 52-25. Here's Hutzel with the basketball. Out to Harsh, straight away, three for Annie. Good. <laughs> Harsh gets in the scoring column with a three. 55-25. Here is McGrew with it. McGrew goes off to Lair, and Hindelein are going to pick up her fourth foul. Teams third, I believe. You know, when you look at this casting team, I Val, you know, I've I've raved about Macy Hindelider for years. Mm -hmm. I think she is an underrated player. But Annie Harsh, I mean, she'd be the number two option on a lot of teams, and yeah. she's number four or number five <laughs> on this team. It's just crazy how deep they are. Yeah, and it was interesting, you know, getting to talk to her mom at the Sheila McMillan thing. I mean, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You know, she grew up in a, you know, the, the Harsh family, I'd call them more, more of a basketball family than a softball family. Is that is that crazy to say that? Is, that? Yeah, that is, if you know how well the, how well they are in softball. Mm -hmm. Here is Pioneer with the basketball and a travel, nope, jump ball. And it'll go back to Kasten as Hopper trying to attack the basket. Four straight wins for Kasten over Pioneer. Uh, that, <laughs> that That is not, if you're a longtime Kasten fan, I don't think you ever thought you'd be saying that. 60 seconds, here's Thomas, foot was on the line, air ball, rebound comes away to Hopper, quickly ahead to McKeg. McKeg with the basketball, left side. McKeg, now trapped in the corner, she gets rid of it and gives it off to Hopper. Hopper back to McKeg. And they go down low, the ball's tipped, and it's loose, picked up by Douglas. Douglas has it with 35 seconds and she'll back it out. And Kasten will just run some clock. It's almost an identical score to what it was 10 days ago, 57-27, 55-25 here tonight. So the Comets will hold the basketball with 18 seconds to go. Douglas has it. And the final again here from Pioneer, 55-25. The Comets will improve to 11-0. Pioneer will drop to 3-6. When we come back, the post-game show brought to you by Pearson, Wagner, and Perkins. Again, the final on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 55-25. Casted over Pioneer. Back with more Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4.